Okay, here it goes. We're going to do it, uh, make a ghost horse. Now, why I don't have any audio on the other one is because I was blabbing too much. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so we're going to show you how to do it. So you would first want to open up to your background or, or you can go to your, um, horse or whatever it is that you're going to make into a ghost. But I go to the background first on here. Um, so you get the background. I think it's awesome. And then we go to we find you go and find the whatever you're gonna make into a ghost. And I kind of lost it, so you're just gonna have to wait a little bit. If you hear stuff in the background, that is my sisters. They are playing. <laughs> anyway, um, I think I found it almost. There it is. What are you doing? There. Okay. Now you want it to be gray because if you're going to make it a white color, you need it to be gray because, first of all, I'll show you in a minute. But um, if you want to, you can blur it before you actually paste it on there because it'll still work that way. And blurring it will give it a nice cool effect to it. But in this one I didn't blur it before and I blurred it after so it's not as good as quality. And um, now what are you talking about? Blah 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 blah. You'll want it to be gray. And I smudged the hair too if you want to do that. It's pretty fun. Um, then you go to edit and then you copy. You probably already know this. And then you paste find it. There we go. And now um, we go to the scale tool in the toolbox and then um, we scale it down to a better size because that's filling up the whole page of course. And okay. Scaled it down then you want to rotate it because I want to rotate it to face the other way. And um, but you don't have to rotate it if you have it the way you want it. And you just move it to wherever you need to put it. Um, after that, you go to layers, you go to transparency. I won't stop talking. And then go to alpha, color to alpha. Then you push OK. That took out all the white. So now he's like, she really, is blackish. So if you want it to be white, you have to go down to edit and then do fill with whatever color. And it has to be white. And if it's not white, you go to your little color key thing there and you put it on white. And then whatever one has a little white box next to it, you click on that. And then it turns it white. And it's transparent if you can't see it because my my uh, uh, camera is really bad. Anywho. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, you click on the uh, layer behind it and then that attaches it to the other layer. Um, after that, we, what do we do, what do we do, what are we doing? Did I blur it already? Oh, yep, I'm going to blur it right here. See, it's not as good as if I blurred it before, if I had blurred it before. So, not quite as good. But, uh, yeah, there's the ghost horse, and it's blurry, so. If you wanted to keep it sharper, you could, but it would kind of lose the effect a little bit. It could be so sharp and not quite as ghostly. Then after that, what am I doing? Oh yeah! <sighs> now here's a fun trick. What I do is I'm going to show you how to make it a different color. Now you go to color and you do it all the way red and then you go to whatever color has a little red box by it and this is just for fun so if you want to do it, go ahead because I don't understand a word I'm talking about. <laughs> Then after that, I have to go to the next the layer behind that, um, and just do it red. But then you have to fade it down because it's way too bright. And there's a little fade thing on edit right after you do it. So, and there you have your little bit of red tint to it. So, there you go. And that's how you do the red one, and you can blur it too. But, um, anyway, that's about it. 
I'm thinking that's about it.